Hi guys, Jessica here, and today I'm gonna take you through a 10 minute Tony walk. Peanut's gonna help out too. So all you need to grab is a pair of dumbbells and some comfortable walking shoes. We're gonna alternate one minute of walking drills for a little cardio with one minute of a resistance-based exercise. Now I don't recommend walking with your hand weights, it can be tough on the joints. So we're gonna use the weights when we do our toning and then put them back down. So if you're ready to go, I got my gym boss timer here to keep us on track. So let's start our first minute with our first interval, walk in place. Now the awesome thing about walking is we don't have to warm up to do it, right? So you probably walked to turn on whatever you're watching this on, whether it's your TV or your computer. So you've got some movement in your body already. So just keep that movement going, but make it larger. Use your arms, use your feet. Make sure the posture is really good here. We want the spine to be nice and neutral. Make sure they're not, you're not jetting your chin forward. Relax your neck. Good, shoulders are back, keeping the chest open. So we should be starting to feel the body just gradually heating up a little bit. What do you think, Peanut? You gonna work out with us? She likes to supervise. Keep pumping. Good. Just find that beat with the feet. Make sure you're not slamming your feet down too hard. You wanna step down nice and light. All right, so our first minute's over. Let's grab those weights carefully. And we're gonna move on to a, cur a curl and a press. So I wanna see the palms rotate in, rotate away, come back down. Your feet can be wide and steady, abs in tight, and on that overhead press, make sure the weights are slightly in front of you at the top. We don't wanna let them go behind the head. Combining these two moves, work in more muscle groups at one time. That helps us burn more calories, right? Good. So this is just a quick shot of exercise for you today. You can do several little 10 minute workouts throughout your day. You can tack this on to an existing workout. Maybe you just need a break from sitting at the computer too long. These little short quickie workouts are perfect for that. Curl, press. Good, hang tight. We're finishing up this minute, then we're gonna go right back to that walk. Set the weights down carefully. Let's go back to the march. Good. So really making it nice and big here. We're gonna travel side to side. Watch it once. It goes one, two, three, tap to change. So as you notice, I'm in a very small space. If you are too, it's okay. We don't need a lot of room for this, right? If you have a little more space than me and you wanna make this a little bigger, please feel free. We're just mixing up that walk a little bit. So we got a little lateral movement. Work in the outside of the hips and those inner thighs a little more. We like to mix things up a little, but yet still keep it simple and basic enough to follow along with, no problem at all. Good. So keep that movement big. Now my advanced exercisers out there, anytime you want, you can make these walks more of a jog. So keep that in mind for our next round. Let's grab those weights again. We're gonna move on to the back of the body now. We're gonna do a row and a tricep extension. Knees are bent, looks like this. You're here, 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 and down. Pull with the back, press with the triceps. And I want you to almost feel as if you're arching your lower back slightly here. Make sure that your chin is to your chest, your neck stays neutral. Good, knees are soft. Abs are in tight. And as you're extending those arms, you're squeezing through the back of the arm, pressing back with those tricep muscles. Send your knuckles to the wall behind you. Great job. Pull, press, in and down, that's it. Pull those shoulder blades back in together. Great job, let's finish this last one here. Set down those weights carefully. You know what it is, it's time to go back to the walk. So again, just to mix it up just a smidge, walk towards me, tap go back. Again, super simple. It's still a walk or a jog. Taking it back to that cardio. 
still in that small little space. Good. That's it. Just a walk and a tap to switch. How you feeling? We doing good? You're looking good. Give me a couple more here. Good. That's it. So we're gonna go back to the front side of the body with our next weight interval. So let's go grab those dumbbells again. And we're gonna do a front press with a front knee raise. Looks like this. You're here and here. So we're pausing for a second at the top. Rotate that palm down. Again, show me that great posture through your spine. Use those abdominals to lift that knee up to balance, hold it. Make sure you're not leaning back. Shoulders are right over those hips. Everything stays engaged. Press and lift. Good. That's it. Don't lock out that elbow. Extend the arm right out in front of that chest, in front of that shoulder. Press and pull. Doing great here. Good. And up. Nice. I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get a little sweat going. Let's set those weights down carefully. We are coming back to that march. Look at nice and big. Good. Now, again, just to mix it up, feet are going to stay the same. Up and down with the arms, high and low. You can stay with this tempo or make it quick. Up, down. Now, this is a little bit like patting the head and rubbing the stomach at the same time. It takes a little bit of coordination. It's good for the brain, right? Reach and pull. Keep that march. This is too much. You can keep that half tempo with the arms. Maybe you want to be jogging in place with this one. Again, it's up to you. Make it work for you. Good. Stay with me strong. Getting the heart pumping. Let's go back to those dumbbells. Back to the back of the body. So we're going to do a little step back and rear fly. Knees are bent. Tap back. Open the arms. So my arms are going straight to the side. Squeezing through that upper back. And I'm going to either tap the leg or you can drop down to a lunge to make it harder. I'm going to keep switching my angles so you can see it a little better. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Back and together. Chin is to the chest. Now, if your arms or your upper back start to really give out, just give me an alternating arm. This is a tough one to hold on to for one minute. Do what you need to do. Don't look up at me. Keep your chin down, eyes to the floor. Focus on that space right between our shoulder blades. We're almost there. Give me one more. Nicely done. Let's set those dumbbells down. Back to your march. Okay. Good. Now this is kind of like our free for all. Last cardio walking interval. So you can do whatever you want. Or you can follow me. And let's do a little plus sign. So we're going front and back. Side to side. Front. Back. To the side. And side. Again, just keeping it interesting. Maybe you want to jog it. Your cough. Good. I love the hand signals. I feel like a stewardess showing you where the emergency exits are. You're not going to need those today, though, right? It's just a 10 minute quickie. Nothing too crazy, nothing too intense. Let's finish it. Beautiful. Now, take it back to that basic march. We're just going to start to bring everything down for our last minute here together. Take a nice deep breath in. Reach your arms up. Exhale, push down. Take it up. 
So my feet are now going to stay a little closer to the floor, making it easy. Good. Take your feet apart. Just make it a little tap. Breathe. Reach both hands back behind you. Open up your chest. Take both hands out in front. Round your shoulders. Drop your chin to your chest. Palms together. Stretch out those forearms and wrist muscles. Good. Now just hold it here. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Push it out. So I want you to keep walking. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you for our next 10 minute workout together. Please be sure to check out my book, Thin in 10, available on Amazon.com starting October 15th. See you guys next time.